Hello friends, I'm the hobby. It's one of those unregular videos where I just present something and uh, flash it for the first time. That's why you're here. So um, welcome along and uh, let's look at what we have today. Um, basically, it's the Radio Master XR1-900. Dash 900, if you say? Yeah, Dash 900. Um, you know those new uh, Semtech chips? Semtech? Yeah, Semtech, I guess. Correct me in the comments. Um, um, have the ability to switch between 2.4 gigahertz and 9 gigahertz. 9 gigahertz? No, I'm still in my cage mode. 866 and 915 megahertz. So yeah, um, reason being having the 9100 here is that I didn't, couldn't get hold of something with 2.4 gigahertz in time. So I needed a receiver. So I ordered this for my money, by the way. Nothing features, nothing sponsored in this case. I will um, open it up for you, with you, and we'll take a look what's inside. And then I will solder stuff so we can use it and flash it to become a 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah. <laughs> Put a different antenna on and here we go. That's the mission. Thanks for being here. Let's start. Gotta say yes to express LRS. So here it is. Let's open it without spoiling fingers. Do we have something? No, nothing. Okay, we take the fingers. Yeah, and who oh, wants to keep this forever? Not me. So let's just open it. Ah, oh, it's hard to get back from vacation, by the way. Anyways, here we go. The little bag opens up, and I just get the things on the table. Well, first bag, we got the Radio Master manual card, which says go there, watch there, find there, uh, you scan the QR code or whatever. Official firmware. Yeah, you know where to get the firmware, I guess. We got some fancy like uh, uh, quartz here. That's good. Two times uh, shrink tubing. That's also good in case you go wrong. And of course, uh, no, three even. Three. See, I don't, know, I don't see what I'm doing. I'm looking up at the screen while I'm talking to you. Quick check past. Oh, that's good. That's, that's an old one. 10th of January, it says. And then we got the unit itself connected to the antenna. I don't know if I'm going to keep the antenna because um, who the heck knows where it will pop up. I hope it will, it will do um, it will do um, wireless, anyways, because otherwise I won't get get to it, or I connect it directly. Come on, focus on the unit. Focus on it. It won't. Well, okay. Um, don't know. I don't know. You can see it here. We'll take some images of that later, I guess. Looks good. Nothing, uh, uh, well, out of the ordinary, just a regular receiver. And uh, to be honest, the first one in my uh, uh, set having this new chip, new uh, LR1221, which can both frequencies. Uh, still out of focus. Yeah, this will do. So I'm. Um, um, I'm going to uh, go down now and solder the stuff on that I do. I do the pin thing, although this one hasn't delivered any pins. <sighs> yeah, whatever. I will need this in a plane and um, that one has pins. So yeah, I will solder some pins on like I used to do, so it is reusable. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. Crap. Okay, it's soldered up. If you, I don't know if you can see this. I just did some pin headers here because uh, that's my way of using those things. And uh, you can see I've marked them. I do uh, irregularly mark the 5 volt pin red. So you know this needs current. This is where the current has to go. And no matter if you are a youngster or a blind fish like me, then you know where to put your 5 volts, right? No need to fry that thing. Poor damn thing. And uh, yeah. So I will say we are ready for the flashing. Still did not uh, change the antenna. Still the 900 megahertz uh, antenna delivered by um, Radio Master. And uh, I will take my uh, little ESC here uh, with uh, back in it so it, we can power it up. Uh, no fancy things, you know. 
how I do this if you have seen the series before and you just pop it on and then you're good to go. We will attach some voltage to it now. Maybe this won't die over time uh, and uh, this is how it looks. First time and it's waiting and I will start to start my Express LRS uh, configurator so we can um, see what happens, right? Okay. Okay. Here we are. Meanwhile, the Express LRS is in Wi Fi mode of the receiver. And um, let's see. Um, there is a network called Express LRS RX. I can try to click that. You don't see that, maybe. Well, you can see the window here, right? Right. And we will go and look what it reports. It's the Radiomaster XR Dual Bank RX. Okay. 352. That's okay, I guess. Um, well, let's find it and, and then refresh it. So we take 355, I guess. Yeah. Latest and greatest. Any pre releases? Uh, my mouse is a bit sluggish. Nothing new. So yeah, that's fine for us. We have uh, the Radio Master one. Let's see. This is, will be getting interesting. Radio Master 2.4. Device is ER. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is not 2.4. We have to take Radio Master. No. I am I doing? You see, this is nothing that is just out of the box. We'll take Radio Master. Let's see what this reports. Ah, here it's hidden. We take this one. So, yeah, we want to have, uh, yeah, well, we take Wi Fi, right? Yeah. And uh, I would stay with, uh, yes, yeah, that's, uh, that's the things you didn't have to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I will put that out. Okay, let's see. We want to have it in 2.4. That's right. Nothing else. I need nothing else here. Startup time, I prefer 30 seconds because um, I don't want to lose my last ages on waiting for this to get into Wi Fi mode. Okay, uh, this should be okay as I am in the Express LRS Wi-Fi currently, but otherwise I would prefer to say build so you have the file. We'll see if this uh, will work out. Otherwise, um, well, we'll see in a second where we just build and flash. I have some issues lately, but um, we'll see in a second. Um, well, everything else is fine, I guess. Uh, binding phrase is fine. And I say, well, let's jump into it. Yeah, I must choose regulatory domain. What? Uh, well, yeah, um, yeah, I guess this one, right? Right for me, yeah, yeah. India is not my okay, nothing against India, but that's not the way the uh, locations I ran into lately. So, something happens, nothing happens, yeah, here we go, uh, okay. Apparently, this works, that's good. And uh, the thing is flashing and rebooting. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. <laughs> Success, it reports. So we go back. So sooner or later, there should be something here popping up in my network. Um, I have figured that this is hard to reach um, currently. Okay, here it is again, going into Wi-Fi mode. Um, but I think it works because it's flashing permanently. Mm. Okay. No, it didn't reach my Wi-Fi, my local Wi-Fi. So yeah, anyways, I guess that's okay. Now, that has been pretty uneventful, hasn't it? Well, no, uh, big things to mention about this is very straight out of the box. Build quality is uh, pretty good. Usually done by Radio Master, they don't deliver crap. 
Um, from my point of view, of course, you can have a different, but I didn't encounter anything bad on it. The design, the size of that thing isn't extraordinarily big, but it's bigger than, let's say, the regular size. I don't know if you can see those. This is a smaller one, it's a Speedy B one. Oh, focus, please. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Yeah. The little one with the uh, foil on it, that's um, a Speedy B, and the Radio Master is a bit bigger. Not that it's critic because those are critical because these receivers are small after all what they perform with. Um, well, um, well, yeah, this is our uh, formation flight module now. And um, this one will go into the next project. I, you can see I've made a red dot on it and that's something I do regularly because um, <clears throat> I want to be sure when I'm in the field I know where to connect things and you can see I've, I've, I've one of those who make those pin headers. Uh, excuse my hand, it's just because the focus then works. Um, <clears throat> and I want to know where the uh, pin headers are and the red one is always the one with the power, the fire folder. And you don't need to fry anything just because you are um, old guy like me and need glasses and don't see crap in the, in the near. So yeah, I can, I can still recognize colors, so yeah, the red one is 5 volt, and I can just plug it on, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's a hint for you. What is up next? Well, I'll take this tiny little friend here and um, put it into the project where it's, uh, it is assumed to do its job and uh, see if we can fly 2.4 GHz with it and how far we will go. And yes, um, I guess that's basically it. Thanks for watching and thanks for watching, thanks for watching through the end of the video. No, <laughs> thanks for being here with me and uh, still looking into this. Um, uh, some new stuff coming up. I got some other things I will show you here. It's small, it's really small. I'm not the first to present it, but um, I find this topic to be interesting. So yeah, I will take you on this too as well. And uh, some uh, new stuff like you've seen in the, in the commentary section, uh, there's a new plane here. Yeah, I will have to test that out. But the weather isn't with me, so yeah. Hmm. So, that's enough uh, mixing topics. Um, get your Express LRS XR1, XR2, XR whatever going and get out in the field of flight like you stole it. Have fun, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. Don't forget button. to hit the subscribe. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. That would be awesome.